This is Twit. Paul Therott, Mary Jo Foley, 1809. Where, oh, where is 1809? We would question, all love Leo. to know. So, <laughs> so just to, you know, just to recap, they put yeah, out 1809 yeah. uh, for uh, Seekers. You could go get it yes. about a month ago almost now. And October it, 2nd. And uh, yep. one one hundredth of one percent of all installers had data deletion, which we're thinking now, I think the number now is 1,500 people lost data, something like that. Mm -hmm. hmm. Yeah, one one hundredth of one percent. Yeah, which if you multiply that 1,500 times that is, uh, what was that, 15 million installs. That's about right, I would guess. However, there's I other problems now. There's other other loss, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, when it comes to data loss, it's like riding a bike. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure like, what that I, means, I, but okay. <laughs> it's just once you've done it, you never forget you how never to do forget it. Never forget how to yeah, do right. it. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. So, so yeah. What's the I, I, this too is a something that's not going to happen a lot, but it's kind of a rare occurrence but if you have files on your desktop let's say and you have a, a compressed folder which most people would call a zip file and you use the built-in windows tool to ex you know to uh, extract those files to that desktop and some of the files in the zip file are the same as the files on the desktop it's supposed to ask you if you want to overwrite them or keep both or whatever and it doesn't it just overwrites them and so obviously in many cases that might not be what you want and you've lost the old version of the file data loss 101. Yep. <laughs> yep. So are they going to fix it? Yeah, I'm sure they are. And by the way, that might have something to do with why this final release has been delayed. I think it was a week ago yesterday that they released uh, the, the the fixed version of 1809 to the slow ring and to the release uh, preview yeah. ring. Yeah. So... Uh, you know, depending on how you measure things, I, Friday might have been a day for the final release. Um, yesterday, this week, this Tuesday, was also a logical choice for that release. The fact that it hasn't happened su possibly suggests that maybe they're going to try to fix this other data loss bug before mm -hmm. it goes out, right? It, it, via a, another quality update that would be, you know, increment the minor part of the build number yet again. So we will see, but they've been really quiet on this. Yeah. They have. So there's no there's no way to know. I know. I kind of wondered uh, if part of the reason it didn't show up yesterday was because today is Microsoft earnings. And if you if you're somebody thinking about this, you're like, wait, what would be the worst yeah. thing we could pretty much do? Re-release re a build, and then more problems happen the day before we're going to do a call with financial analysts and talk about whatever they want to talk about. <laughs> you know? I love. So, uh, by the way, yeah. what you just said uh, makes tons of sense. It's something that never would have occurred to me. And it is a beautiful example of how different our brains work. <laughs> because I, I sort <laughs> well, of think even Friday, it, Friday was yeah. the same thing. I'm like, okay, if you're Microsoft, why would you ever roll this out again on a Friday? Yeah, no, you're, like, you're, if there's as you any say it, problems, <laughs> I have no doubt that you are correct. There's no doubt about it. It never would have entered my mind. <laughs> I just was just, thinking, it, oh man, you're yeah. you're on the Windows team. You roll out a re-release mm -hmm. of something, and there's a problem, and it's Friday at five, and <laughs> now you're like, well, hold on yeah. a second. Okay, the one thing I'll disagree with is it didn't come from the Windows team. It's more likely that someone a little higher in the org chart came down and said, "You idiots aren't going to do anything in the next we're week." We're not right? doing and this. They were like, "Actually, we were thinking about <laughs> releasing." No, don't. <laughs> Here's an idea. Wait ten I days. Know. <laughs> you know. I could see maybe so, tomorrow. Um, the day uh, after earnings could be okay. Thursday is, Thursday is a weird day for that, though. You it know, would be Friday a weird day. More, yep. more typical. And do you yeah. think um, when this goes back out, are they going to do the seeker thing again, or does this become a... Yeah, good question. Uh, a My general guess is not thing? a seeker thing. My guess is it better be going on Windows Update at that point. I don't think they should ever have a seeker thing. I no, I, turn I don't off either. the seeker because it's an the seeker uh, thing shouldn't happen. As we've seen now, you can no. have unintended consequences. I just wanted to see if there was updates. I didn't want my <laughs> files deleted. Yes, okay. and I, I think the better way to approach that is they already have a system for delivering builds to insiders or whatever. You could say, hey mm -hmm. guys, uh, you know we have an ISO over here over here. If you want to install the you know the final yeah. version or, you know, put it somewhere that isn't where the general public's going to hit it. Mm-hmm. 